sands of time. The sands of time form a stream downwards. Everything must fall downwards, down to the other side. Darkness, happiness, sorrows, accomplishments, all that has ever existed and will exist is subject to the sands of time. They flow, they flow, they flow. The older we become, the quicker the sands seem to move through our fingers as we desperately grasp for the moments that we treasure. The present flees from us, as though it were afraid of being touched by our greedy hands. It runs away, it runs down, 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 down. We see ourselves moving with the very sands as we descend in its grasp. The winds whip around us, speckles and grains of sand whisking all about us. We descend with the rest of the cosmos, for the sands of time cannot be stopped. We look up at the ideas that we left behind, the people who we no longer talk to. Our connections lost, our loved ones no more. They too fall down on our heads. We need only blink them away, lest the sand get in our eyes. We blink them away, blink them away, as though they were mere memories that need not be remembered. They too must descend with the sands of time. As we descend, curiosity shall envelop us as humankind for ages, centuries, millennia. Since the dawn of humanity's capacity of thought, we have wondered what lay below us. What happens when we descend so far that we can go no lower? Where do we lie? What place do we have in this flow of time? Shall we find something new, or are we to become more flowing sand for other people to look up upon and blink away like unfavorable recollections? The truth flows around us. The answers we seek exist like water to a glass. It takes the shape of its container, should the glass be the curious mind of an interpreter. Down underneath the sands of time exists another dimension, another realm of creation that boldly declares its independence from the once everlasting grains. When all that we have ever known is a downwards movement that drags us and everything we know with it, now we rise. We rise into another world beyond our understanding, beyond all comprehension of what we have been taught, what we know from this world. Sands bury our bodies in darkness while our souls rise to see the light. The light shall envelop this world, all souls to ever exist. All that was, all that is, and all that shall be is to be ubiquitously cleansed by the non-discriminatory light. When the light reaches out to our soul, to our very course, we attain a new form. We become who we were always meant to be from the very beginning, since the very first grain of sand fell from the ground. An entity of holiness, whose grace and allure is unlimited. Only this beauty can exist beyond the sands of time, with the potential to gently heighten itself instead of plummet. And yes, it truly is glorious.